Hello and welcome to my video tutorial series on setting up a virtual web server. Following this series will be multiple videos about creating websites using PHP, HTML, MySQL, JavaScript, and Photoshop. To begin, let's set up a virtual server that will allow us to do all of our work on. If you have a dedicated box or a computer you wish to install the server on, feel free to keep watching this video as I will explain what you need to do in that case. First off, you'll need to download VirtualBox, which will allow you to create a virtual machine on your computer. You can find a link to VirtualBox in the description or by googling VirtualBox. Make sure to download the correct build for your environment. Once the download is complete, we can begin by installing it. Because I already have this installed, I will hit repair. Just a warning, on the normal installation of this product, it does disconnect your internet connection, so you may lose connection to this video. Just reload the YouTube page and come back to this part of the video. Once the installation is complete, you can click on Finish. Let's start by creating a new virtual machine. In this case, it's going to be a Linux operating system, and it's going to be Ubuntu 64-bit. I'm going to name this TutServe. I'm going to allocate 5 gigabytes of RAM. In this case, you want to use uh, just enough RAM that it's not going to overboggle your system. In my case, I'm running 12 gigabytes of RAM on my system, so 5 gigs should be just fine. It's going to be called TutServe, and it's going to be located on my E drive. Okay. I'm going to give this 50 gigabytes worth of space to work with. and create it. Okay, now we need to download the server portion of this, which I am going to be using Ubuntu. You can find this by Googling Ubuntu or by going to Ubuntu.com. Click on Download and then Ubuntu Server. In this case, I'm using the 64-bit edition and start the download. Once the download is complete, you will find it in your Downloads folder. Okay, so go back into uh, VirtualBox and load up your server. Since this is the first time it runs, you'll have this nice nifty wizard that will help you out in getting your server started. So select Installation Media, click on the ISO file that you downloaded, and load it up. Now, if you're not using this VirtualBox, what you can do is either download a program called Power ISO or ImageBurn, you can Google these and uh, burn this to a disk. Maybe even Nero. Image Burn works great. So just open it up with Image Burn. Pop in a uh, blank CD and hit Burn. Put it in your server. Load up your server. Select CD mode or load from CD drive in your boot options. And then you should get to this same point of the tutorial. So we're going to English, install Ubuntu server. Basically, you can just keep clicking through these. And let it run. Okay, once it's done doing all of its magical stuff, go ahead and give your server a name. In this case, I'm going to be calling it tutserve. And let it do more magical stuff. When it asks you for the time zone, make sure the time zone is correct and hit yes. And then we'll get into the formatting of the hard disks. If you're doing this on another computer and not the virtual machine, make sure you have backed up everything you want because this will delete everything. Don't do this on your mother's computer. She will get very angry at you. Okay, hit guided, use entire disk. Let's keep hitting enter. And then right changes to the disk, hit yes. Make sure you are doing this on a box that you do not want to keep anything on. This will erase everything, I'm warning you. Hit yes. Okay, it's going to start formatting and installing the system. Go get some coffee and come back. When it's done installing the base system, it's going to ask you for a username. So go ahead and type in a username you want to use. I'll be using tut, uh, tut user and tut pass for the password t-u-t-p-a-s-s -S. don't care that it's weak and I do not want to encrypt my home directory you can 
I don't know if that's going to cause any conflicts with the tutorial, but in my case, I'm just going to hit no because I never, never have and probably never will. Continue and let it do even more magical stuff. You might want to go refill your coffee. When it asks about updates, feel free to uh, do whatever you want here, but if this is going to be in a production environment, uh, I usually just do no automatic updates because that can really, really screw some stuff up down later down the road. Okay, now, enter. Uh, you don't want to hit enter here. I probably did this about six times before, and it really pissed me off because I had to restart the entire tutorial. So hit space bar to select these. Open SSH server, space bar. Uh, lamp server, space bar. Sample, uh, Samba file server, space bar. And that's all you need. So hit enter then. And let it do more magical stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. Password for root user. I'm just going to name this tut pass again. But you probably want to make that more secure than that. Okay, when this pops up, uh, go ahead and just hit yes. That will install the uh, bootloader and allow you to boot into Ubuntu. Okay, hit continue. And it will restart. And welcome to your new server. First things first, try to log in with the information you use during setup. So tut user is going to be my username. And tut pass. And there we go. We're in. Can type uh, clear to clear all that junk out of the console. And let's begin. We need to make this box discoverable uh, to the outside world. So we need to make this a bridged connection. Uh, if you're stuck in the little box here, you can look in the bottom right hand corner of this window and figure out what the uh, host key is to get out of the box. So currently it's uh, my right control button. So if you're stuck in here, just hit right control and you'll get your mouse back. So uh, on this little network thing here, right click, network adapters. Uh, currently it's set for NAT. Change it to bridged adapter and hit OK. And now we need to restart the uh, networking on the uh, Linux box. So you need to do sudo, which is super user do, gives you elevated permissions. Uh, etc. Uh, on Linux it's cool because you can type et and then hit tab and it'll automatically uh, finish it out for you. init.d and then networking. And type restart and hit enter. Now you need to type in your uh, password for your tut user. So this is tut pass and it will restart. The network service has restarted. We can check out what the IP address for this box is by typing IP ADDR and show. Looks like the box IP is 192.168.1.3. We can test this out by opening up uh, internet and going to that IP address. And it looks like everything installed correctly and the server is up and running. If you want this to be accessible from the outside world, you're probably going to need to port forward uh, and open ports to this virtual machine. Uh, you can Google doing that, just uh, opening ports. And look at all these magical tutorials that shows you how to open ports. You probably also will need to disable some uh, firewall on your system or on your router to do so. But for local purposes, this is fine. I don't need to forward or open any ports for this box. Okay, now, you have two different ways, really, that you can transfer files to the server that I like to use, which is FTP or through Samba. In this case, I'm going to show you both ways, FTP first and then Samba second. So you're going to need a FTP client. I like using FileZilla. It's free, and it works great. So check them out. Go to Google, type FileZilla and find the download page here or look in the description below this video. Download the correct version for your system and install it. Start it up. 
Once it's loaded up, go ahead and go back to your Linux server and let's actually install the FTP server that we're going to connect to. So sudo apt-get install pro ftpd and hit enter. You'll probably get a message that asks uh, standalone or init.d. Just click on standalone. Okay, now we can try connecting to it. So 192.168.1.3 or whatever yours is. Uh, username is tut user and tut pass. Looks like we connected successfully. So this is how we can uh, start editing our web server. Default path is going to be in var www and here is the uh, HTML file. So we can right click, view edit. Uh, we're going to need to change our default editor. So go to edit settings, file editing and always use the default editor. For this I'm going to be doing everything in Notepad++ so you're probably going to want to download that. Notepad++ probably also have that in the, des in the description below. Uh, download and download the correct version for your system. Edit and here it is. So now I'm just going to make a simple change here, save it, and go back into FileZilla and hit yes. Okay, permission denied. This means we don't have access to upload to this directory, so let's go ahead and fix that. Type cd var www, now ch, uh, sudo chmod 777 star and dash r for recursive in the directory. Uh, go ahead and make another change and save it and hit yes. And there we go. Looks like it updated and we can test it out here. So there it is. And there it is live on the actual web server. So now that we have FTP enabled, that's how we can transfer through there. So now I'm going to show you how to do it in Samba. To get Samba working, we need to come back to our Linux box and edit the Samba configuration file. Uh, to do this, it's probably write protected, so we need to do it as an elevated user. sudo vi, vi is a text editor for Linux, etc, samba, and smb.config. Okay, now we can go all the way to the bottom of the file. Uh, you can either do this by holding in the bottom down arrow by hitting page down until you get to the bottom or just holding in shift and G which is capital G which will take you all the way to the bottom. So now let's go ahead and create a uh, new line. So hit end on your keyboard to go to the very end and then hit I to go into insert mode. Arrow to the right and hit enter. Probably a simpler way to do that but I just do it like that. Uh, let's create a share. Uh, comment. This is what the user is going to see the name of the share. Let's just call this tut serve share. Okay, now we're going to need a path. Path is going to be equal to the root directory. Make sure you don't share this with anybody because they will have access to the root directory of your server, which is not good at all. Uh, delete read only is equal to yes. Writable is equal to yes. All I'm doing here is hitting enter and then tab. Uh, force directory mode is equal to 777. Force create mode equals to 777. Hide dot files, no. Valid users equal to tut user, comma, tut user. Create mode equals to 777 and directory mode equals to 777. I also might want to add at users. Okie dokie. So hit the exit key on your keyboard, then the uh, colon key, which is shift, and then the uh, letter or the button right next to the L uh, and then write and quit. What this will do is write to the file and quit VI. If you want to just write to the file you can just do W but in this case we want to write it and quit out of it. 
we need to uh, restart Samba now. So sudo restart SMBD and hit enter. Okay, now that the share is created, we need a way to connect to it. So the simplest way to do this is going to computer, my computer, and mapping a network drive. If your operating system doesn't allow you to do this, you can also connect by uh, opening up the run dialog, two backslashes, the IP address, and then another backslash, and we name this share. So hit OK. It'll ask you for a username and password, uh, tut user, and tut pass. So as you can see, we have access to our share. But I'm going to show you how to map a network drive to make this super simple. 192.168.1.3. Finish. And here it is. So var www. And now we can edit with notepad this way. And there you go. So let's see if uh, those changes that I just made are live. There they are. So now it makes it really, really simple to uh, edit stuff and just hit save and it goes directly to the live server. Makes it really, really simple to edit. I think I just repeated myself there. So that's that. You just successfully set up a virtual machine and you're ready to start developing websites. Feel free to check the next videos at INF showing you how to create those websites using PHP, MySQL, and all other kinds of cool stuff. Uh, if you haven't already, check out my website, www.e3po.info. That is E3P and the letter O, not the number zero, dot I-N-F-O. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and check out my other videos.